Hi there everyone, today I'm going to be showing uh, the Gooseberry board. Um, I'm quite excited about this, it seems to have a lot of potential and we're kind of like aiming at selling it for around £40. Um, just a quick look at it, here are the ports, fortunately this camera is rather poor. Uh, we've got the microphone here, we have the 3.5mm jack here, mini HDMI port here the micro USB port here and the power jack here on kind of like the left side you have the volume rockers unfortunately my camera is not focusing the volume rockers so plus and minus and the power button so that will either power the board or put it in standby and finally here is the micro SD port which I believe can support up to 16 gigabytes there's currently 512 megabytes RAM on the board and it is powered by a 1 gigahertz or winner A10 processor uh, it has LVDS display output right here um, and has 4 gigabytes of NAND flash so I'm just going to connect it up and show you on the TV so one second And there we go. Uh, the board automatically powers once it's exposed to uh, the power, well, given power. Um, it can also be powered by USB as well, and we've currently got it connected to a powered USB hub right here. Um, it's powered by, I uh, don't know the size of the direct current pin thing, but it's powered by a USB adapter, which is just below back there. And we have connected a hard drive a uh, keyboard and a mouse so hopefully we will get something on screen soon it's going to be a lot of editing and uh, <laughs> cropping in this video as I only have three minutes video with the SD card so uh, yeah sorry about that <laughs> And here we go. This is currently at 1080p signal. This is Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. It does not come with it, unfortunately. It's coming with gingerbread, I believe, 2.3. But it's very, very easy to flash. It's kind of you download a file and click a button in the program. A few buttons on the board, and it flashes very quickly. About five minutes, really. Um, so here we go, unlocking. I'm just going to kind of show you what the board can do, and sorry about the quality. Um, Let's play a 1080p file because everyone likes that. And what else shall I play? It will be Big Bad Bunny because that is the thing to do, is the video clip you use. So, uh, here we go. It is MMT, USB host. It currently has an NTFS file mounted disk. So, an ATP test content and big bunny, but bunny. Uh, let's start over. So as you can see, it can play 1080p signal perfectly. I'm going to cut off now as the SD card has run out of storage. Be back in a moment. Back again, folks. We're resuming. Um, just on the Big Buck Bunny where he's come up with a good idea on how to get back on those uh, pesky squirrel thing. Anyway, just going to show you a few more features of, uh, well, Android really. Um, we'll also play Angry Birds, why not? <laughs> I'm rather fond of this app, so as is everyone. Um, yeah, performance is really just quite good across the board with the Android. You really do get a reasonable Android experience. Um, Seems to play Angry Birds and 1080p content quite seamlessly. Minimal lag, really. Um, well, apart from that. <laughs> and we can skip the intro. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It seems to play rather smoothly. And with Android, of course, you can download all the um, apps off the market store rather easily. And yeah, play it on your big screen. 
Uh, we also have a browser on here. Um, my internet is rather dodgy at the moment, so please excuse me if it does not work. Um, the browser actually reasonably <laughs> works quite well, which I would find surprising on um, a board like this. But um, yeah, you can use it for general things. I'm just going to type in test here. Not imaginative, but oops. Just with the keyboard. But yeah, I mean, you can just browse the internet, just find, look at the weather and things like that. I mean, it's not going to give you the browser experience of a desktop now. This is a quite a low-powered, um, cheap board, but it works reasonably well. Uh, we're going to also try out iPlayer. So in case you ever, you know, want to watch, if you're fed up with the computer monitor, watching t online TV on the monitor, you can use your TV now without the loud fans kicking in. Um, let's hope my Intel holds up this as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to get HD content, but I'm sure someone, some clever person can come up with a workaround to get HD content through iPlayer. But it seems alright quality for the time being, and my internet can't hold any HD content regardless anyway, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's for seamless playback for that as well. Okay, um, I think that'll be all really. Um, thanks for watching. Um, later this week I'm going to hopefully upload a video of uh, the Gooseberry board or whatever you want to call it really. Um, handling Ubuntu Linux. I have to wait for the memory card because I don't want to wipe Android off the board. I want to dual boot it. So we'll have Ubuntu running off the micro SD card. So once I receive that, I can upload a video and show you how it works. Um, there's already images out there, so technically, upon receiving your board, you can, um, well, put Ubuntu on it and have a go, really. Um, I think there are some issues, though. There is kind of uh, audio issues, and graphics acceleration isn't currently available. But um, a Mali 400 driver, which is the GPU in this board, um, has been released.